Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this creating text animation instead of After Effects without using any third-party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. All links are available in the description and you can join my Motion Pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees. You'll get access for new videos, motion graphic tutorials, advanced perfect tutorials, etc. etc. And it will be a support for this channel as well. And project files of this animation is available on Patreon page. Link in the description. You can download it from there as well. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as Mean Animation. Width, I'm going to choose 1920. Height is 180 and frame rate, I'm going to choose 60. And duration is 1 minute long and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and Guide option and click on Title Selection. Then I'm going to select my text tool. And I have this code over here, impossible until you try. So I'm simply going to press Ctrl V to apply that text over here. For the font, I'm going to choose Colvetica Heavy Compress. Okay, I'm going to choose all caps and if you want, then you can uh, choose this uh, bold version as well. Right now, I'm going to select normal version. So select, select this text and uh, let's go and press Y or you can simply select this pen behind tool and zoom in a little bit. And by holding control, try to bring this anchor point at that top. Okay, like that. Then go to the align tab and choose align horizontally. Then zoom in, hit control D to duplicate it. And let's try to bring this text downwards like that. Then I'm going to select my next word, which is until. Select this text, hit control T and hit control V to apply this. Then select this, hit control D to duplicate it. And let's try to uh, bring this uh, over here like that. And I'm going to choose this viewer. So hit Ctrl C to copy. Hit this view. Select this. Hit Ctrl D. And let's try to bring this over here downward. And this time I'm going to choose this word try. Okay. So now we have this uh, alphabets over here. Select all of them. Go to the align tab and choose align horizontally so all of them are not properly aligned. If you want, then you can align them like that as well. Okay, so it's totally up to you. I'm going to bring this uh, align horizontally, not horizontally, but uh, align at the center or align horizontally. Sorry. Then after this, I want to increase the size of this. So for that, I'm going to right click new no, and I'll create one null object. I'm going to select all of this and I'll make it apparent with this null. Then select this null and press S for scaling option and I'll try to adjust the scale so I can bring this like that and then bring this null object in such a way that this edge should be at the center. Okay. Then I'm going to delete this null object. Now after that, we have all of this text uh, for which the anchor point is at the top. Now let's try to select all of them and convert these objects into 3D. Then select this impossible text and go to the active camera and let's choose left align. Okay, now press R for rotation, zoom in a little bit. Let's go to somewhere around 10 seconds or let's go to start. And initially I want to rotate it on uh, let's say X axis. So initially it should be minus 90 and let's create one keyframe. Then go to around 20 frames and let's make this 60 uh, over here. Initially, uh, let's go at the start. It should be minus 90. So it will rotate it like that. Then a few frames, uh, I'm going to make this minus 30. Then after a few frames, I'm going to make this uh, 10. Then after a few frames, I'm going to make this 0. Okay, so let's go and choose active camera again. So now if you check it out this animation, I'll get something like that. Now let's select those keyframe and let's hit F9. 
and uh, now I want this animation should be a little bit faster so by holding alt I can bring this a little bit over here okay like that or you can select this uh, last keyframes and by holding alt you can increase the duration a little bit so we will get something like that okay now initially along with this there should be scaling animation as well so let's select this press s and initially create one keyframe go few frame forward to create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this value zero select those keyframe and repetition and hit u so we can see both the keyframes so now if you check it out this we will get this kind of a pop-up okay now i'm going to select those keyframe and i'll hit ctrl c to copy then select all of these layers and hit ctrl v to paste it now hit u so now we have applied all of these layers to this but if you see over here there is some uh, you know mistake the reason being is that uh, you know, we need to select this and hit ctrl c to copy let's select this and hit ctrl v over here so uh, it will be over here the reason is uh, we don't need to select all of them and hit ctrl v so make sure to select this one layer and hit ctrl v to apply those text properties i mean keyframes then select this and then try hit ctrl v to apply this so now if we check it out this we are going to get something like that now i'm going to select all of these layers and make sure to enable the motion blur so we will get that proper you know little bit motion blur now I'm going to take a gap of 10 10 frames over here so let's select this with the help of open square bracket move this over here go to 20 select this move this over here go to 30 select this move this over here so we will get something like that then after this last uh, keyframe I'm going to select all of them and I'll press P for position to create one keyframe then I'll go to around 2 seconds over here I'm going to select this and this and I by holding shift or uh, instead of add select this and with the help of this X uh, arrows try to bring this over here then select this and this layer by holding control and try to bring this from here to here like that then select those keyframe and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here okay so if you check it out this we will get something like that okay and all here there should be a gap of 10 10 frames so i'm going to select this and let's move this over here select this uh, and let's move this over here select this uh, and let's move this over here okay so we will get something like that okay and this animation is gonna end over here so i'll hit n over here so if you check it out this we got this and we will get this animation okay now uh, 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 around this point uh, there should be some additions over so for that i'm going to select my pen tool then from here to here i'm going to create one stroke and let's make this fit then select the shape layer and hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and then select this impossible and u word and try to bring this at the top over here so we will get the uh, and for distortion okay then select this shape layer pick ctrl d press r for rotation and let's rotate it somewhere around like that so then select this and go to the color options i mean stroke colors and change the color of this one to somewhere around like that and hit ok then select this shape layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply the drop shadow and then increase the softness to 200 and also increase the distance a little bit and opacity of this one should be 40 then select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select this shape layer and hit ctrl v so we will get that over here as well okay like that then i'm going to press ctrl y to create one solid background and I'm going to choose grayish color background and I'll try to bring this downwards. I'll go to the effect and press expand and I'm going to search for CC windshield effect and double click to apply. Okay, so if you see out this animation, we will get this and this animation is going to be in the form of view. So this is how you can create this kind of a text animation inside of After Effects.